What's up everybody, this is Troy here. Welcome back to the Lord of the Rings, the Battle of Middle-earth 2 HD Edition on patch 1.09. And today we'll be checking out the final faction I have to look at. And that, of course, is the Goblins. So I have it all set up here, ready to go. As I was going to test on a different map, but uh, it was actually a bad map to test it on, so I decided to start over. <laughs> so here we are. But anyway, we'll be doing men. Well, let's rephrase that. We'll be facing men of the west. Not doing any men. Not today. Like fuck. And we'll be showing off everything the goblins have in patch 1.09 that I can find. And of course, all the HD edition stuff as well. So we'll have a look at that. So let's get into that. And also, I will cut in at the end of this video a, uh, a look at Galadriel as well, since I won't have seen it in the Dwarven video or any of the other good faction looks, skirmish videos I was doing. So I will cut that in the end of this video. So if you want to see that, keep uh, stay tuned for that, I suppose. But, of course, we won't be doing it in this game, as we're uh, goblins, and that would be really weird. So this is a map I've never seen, Dark Island or whatever the fuck it was called. Kind of unique, the enemy's right here. Apparently I got some ships, you got a shipyard there, you got a signal fire in the center. So it's a four-player map, but we're playing it two-player today, which is perfectly fine. Apparently there's a bit of a slope here as well. I was not aware of. Well, fair enough. Alright, let's get a Goblin Cave. So, we have, of course, the Goblin King. We have Shelob, and we have Drogoth the Dragon Lord. So we're going to go with Gorkil, leader of the Goblins. And in HD edition, he has a new texture and model. So we'll have a look at that, of course. And of course, you don't like any of the textures or models, you can just play without the HD edition, of course. Or you want to play online, but you can't use T3A online. Which is what is required, of course, to play online with the HD edition. You can't use Game Ranger. So you gotta, you gotta choose that instead. So let's, uh, let's get to see a fissure, eh? There's new sounds when you click on buildings, 41.09. Some of them are the same we all know. There's also new ones. Thrown into the rotation. Like the drums in the deep. That's pretty cool. I like that one a lot, actually. Uh, there's Gorkil. That's the HD edition Gorkil. He's still fat. And still weird looking. So there you go. He actually looks more like his portrait now, if you'll notice. I don't know if they edited his portrait or not. Mind of. Uh, interesting. You get cave trolls at level one. I don't particularly want to cave troll yet. Or do I? Maybe I do. So, of course, here's the HD edition on Goblin Warrior. They got nice shields and helmets and such. They look pretty cool. Oh. Well, that's cheeky. We'll just pull back. Builder. Belda! Oh no. Oh dear. I think we need to kickstart this shit in the full. full. full on throttle. <laughs> Maybe a hard AI, but I'm still a shit player, so. Last thing we need is to lose. Let's be a Gorkill, I suppose. But he's not gonna last forever. Uh, let's get that. Maybe a couple of towers here. Right, pull him back. Right, let's pull him back in. Ravage the archers. Uh, you could finish those probably. Start on the totem. Oh yeah. Totem, of course. Protect Shroud. And stealth, double armor, and 25% experience to nearby allies. It's a small radius, but it's a pretty powerful bonus. Which is cool. It's always. I'm not sure it's always been double armor or what have you. But there you are. It's pretty neat. And of course, I, uh, you all have noticed the. The. Floor of the goblin base. 
as a you can duck disable this if you like. It's toggleable in the uh, patch switcher, the new patch switcher that really was released. It has a little toggleable option for that. Enable faction floors, it's called. So if you don't like those, you can turn them off, which is nice. Nice that they added that feature. Quirk Hill still mounts a scorpion, which is still the dumbest thing ever, but I mean, we're used to it by now, right? I don't know why they made him go on a scorpion. It's the only scorpion you ever see in Middle Earth, but, you know, whatever. Look him ravaging those. He should be okay there. Oh, has he now? Find a kid. Goblin, pick him up. Do it. I don't think it causes fear like it does in 2.02, though. So. Oh, you're fine, Gorkil. Don't be such a babby. Right, we'll, leave, we'll leave him to do that. And we will swarm over them. Although we should probably swarm his ass out of there. Take him off that. Uh, let's see the power point tree for goblins in 1.09. So you'll immediately notice there is no untamed allegiance and there is instead a heal. As that has been for any faction with untamed allegiance. Also Isengard didn't have untamed allegiance before but they now have a heal as well. In replacement of something. I forget. But, of course, we have, uh, these are the trees. We have the Summon Dragon in there with a different icon. Then the Summon Dragon from Isengard, I believe. And we got Wildman of Dunlin. This is a good tree here. Start with Cave Bats, go down, you can get Heal or whatever, Route Watcher and Balrog. But, of course, if you want Scavenger, which is the most powerful thing, you can go on the left side tree, which is, looks like to be a bit weaker, but makes up for it with Scavenger. It's, it's all preference, really. I would imagine the right side tree will be the more popular one for powers, but of course everyone's going to want scavengers, so they're going to go down that tree to some degree. Oh wow, there's a new particle effect for war chance if you haven't seen that yet. It's pretty cool. All right, let's take that as well. Actually, <sighs> that tower's health. Oh shit, where these, where these cheeky little shits come from? I was just about to ask where's the half troll swordsman. Right. Let's see the combat effectiveness of laborers in 1.09. Pretty dog shit. <laughs> to be expected. Okay, I regret that decision. Well, I'm about to rebuild these, I'm afraid. I guess you guys can just chill there for now while I rebuild these. Until I get scavengers, I'm gonna make my money, so. Alright, let's get in that. There's a lot of room we can use here. We had more money. Spider hole expansion is still fairly good, so that's good. So we're gonna get Drogoth and Shelob at some point, but I need my economy rolling first before we can do the said things. I wonder if the AI has build plots in this map. I mean, he's still sending enemies at me, so he obviously has something, but... Doesn't seem like he's building farms outside of his zone. It's the risky run when you play a map you've never seen before, I suppose. Alright, so what else do we need? Uh, spider Pit, of course. But let's focus, actually, on economy real fast. Give me some tunnels, ya yeah, bastards. I'm not sure where they're going, but they're going. It is a dead end, so uh, I'm legit wondering where the hell he's going. I don't want them building boats, so I'm going to take that as well. Ooh, Theoden's in there. Theoden's dead. Excellent. And we'll put it on 9. You cannot right kick uh, poison arrows to auto cast. That's only a 2.02 feature, so you get a manual place. Manually cast that one. This isn't too big of a deal. At least you can do it. And they had good range still, which is nice. Alright, let's attack these shits. Don't get killed, please. You know what? Get up, suck the blast. Somebody defend the builder. Make yourself 
sure the builder's just fine. He's a lot of tower guards. I want to get him on a scorpion, but I know he'll just die. <laughs> ah, screw it. We can micro him a little bit, yeah. As you see, the cave is quite strong. I mean, he's fighting tower guards, although they're not focusing him. That's also the only reason he's probably not dead. You can auto-cast Poison Stinger, though. And he'll use it on anything. Oh. I don't know if I like that. It might have always been that way, though. Let's get a Mountain Giants. I thought it was a hero-only ability. I like think about it. No, it isn't, is it? Get in there. Oh yeah, there's the HD Edition Cave Troll. Looking beautiful as he punches Gondor archers in their little shit faces. Absolutely. Let's give him a stick. Come on, friend. No. That was not grabbable. How about that one? There you go. So he's got a tree. I don't know if the cave troll gets a new tree, mo like a new weapon model when he levels up like the other ones do. Ah, look at the AI. <laughs> he's having trouble pathfinding. Oh dear. Apparently the AI not great on this map. Fair enough. Well, we'll just we'll ravage them. Let's go help him out. So help him get out of there. Alright, we got a Mountain Giants. There's a Mountain Giants in HD edition. Very similar to what we all know, but high def. Still in the diaper, which is always good. And they come out in different variations and colors, which is pretty neat. Oh shit, it does work. Look at that. The Cave Troll now has a freaking mall. Holy crap. Okay, well that's pretty unique and pretty cool. I like that a lot. First time I've ever seen a cave troll hold anything but a tree. Oh boy, the tower guards <laughs> ravaged him. No, Bombadil! This is my precious cave troll! Get up! Oh, he took so long to get up. Theron's gonna pay for this. Oh, Jesus, that's not good. Oh boy, I don't have heal either. No, Gorka, you're dead. Oh shit, it's all gone wrong. All right, well we need him back. We need him back. I need many goblins. Spider riders might not be a bad call. Oh, this is where I am. <laughs> where am I? Disoriented. That's where I am. Tom Bombadil's a right prick. You'll pay for this. And, uh, 1.09, you can make a Burrows expansion, connect to your tunnels. It doesn't give you command points, though, like it does in 2.02, so it's a feature for that alone. But it does allow you to go in and out of your tunnel network, which is always nice. Although most people don't use these, because obviously you have a tunnel usually right next to your fort anyway. It's kind of a pointless feature, but it is a feature. Alright, let's go. Half trolls. And maybe. Go for spider edge and upgrades. It's not a bad idea. Did the other builder die? Or did he get away? He, I think he died. I think he died, you know. Alright. You all shit, kids. Time to get wrecked. And some goblin archers and goblin warriors. Actually, these tower guards. And as you'll notice, the hero recharge rate when they die is pretty reasonable. Certainly not 2.02 levels of ridiculous. It's gonna take 10 years for certain heroes to come back and shit. Third, then you will perish. Oh, I tried to cast it on a, uh, on something that shouldn't. Come on, kill him. Get him, Gorky out. Yeah, good job. Oh, 
Gotta love goblins. So wild. Untamed. Right, here is Shelob in patch 1.09. There's what she looks like in the HD edition. Shelob actually has been a bit revamped in 1.09. As you'll see, first of all, when she walks around, she drops webs. Which I think is pretty neat. They despawn after a little bit. So her first ability is Cause Terror, of course. It has a new icon as well. Looks like it's ripped straight off of uh, Venom's chest from Spider-Man. Which is nice. <laughs> uh, poison Stinger, of course. Causes damage during 30 seconds. Paralyzed targets for 6 seconds. Uh, tunnel allows her to go underground and emerge in any uncharted location. Doesn't say it does damage, though. So maybe that's a feature that is not in this. And... That's one nice web of Ungoliant. So that's definitely a new power. Cripples enemy units in spider webs. Heal Sheila based on total damage done. So anything she leaves on the ground when she's walking around. She leaves those little webs. If you use web Mongolian while a, uh, a unit is in that web, it will deal damage to them and heal Sheila. Which is pretty cool, actually. I'm a big fan of that. So we'll try and do that. I mean, the AI is not sending a whole lot at me, to be honest. So it's going to be hard to, s to level up my heroes here and get power points. Oh, there's some guys. It's one of those moments where you wish you played Brutal. But sometimes, like, if it was Brutal, it'd be too hard. <laughs> there's no there's no middle ground, is there? I guess we'll just have to be aggressive, but not destroy their buildings. Because they built the troops, they just didn't send them out. Whatever the case. Orkill's leveling up nicely, at least. We can go for, uh... We can go for heal. Probably a good idea. Ooh, troll. Absolutely destroying them in the battlefield. Right, we do have to be careful. She love is not good against pikes. There's new fear effects for Shelob, which is really neat. Alright, let's pull back a bit. Just kind of hold in the middle ground for now. We have enough for Drogoth. Let's get Drogoth here. Let's get a treasure trove and a spider pit. I keep forgetting to build the spider pit. And builder as well. And we can upgrade these level 3 as well. Why not? Get a few more of those. Oh no. Say it isn't so old, Tommy. Can we poison sting Tom Bombadil? God! Oh. Tom Bombadil's ruthless. He gives no shits. Gorkill takes days to get back up. It's been done. He's been stung. Well, he's dead, but uh, at what cost? At what cost? As you'll see, cave trolls come out of the uh, the fissure in melee mode as well. They don't come out in throw rock mode. I'm used to them coming out in throw rock mode. I like the fact that they come out in melee mode though. Here is a half troll marauder in ye old HD edition. They look very cool as well. We'll have a look at them all when I get them upgraded as well. well. Hey, let's not let them take our building. Those two go over there. Goblins are definitely a pretty cool faction. Oh, boy. That's a new sound effect in half. And there is HD Edition Drogoth. He's still got armor on him. This Drogoth has armor on him because he's a fucking dragon with armor for whatever reason. But hey, I won't question it. Who put the armor on Drogoth? That's what I want to know. Like, <laughs> it just seems like a weird concept. Let's have a look at it. Drogoth's abilities. That's cool sounds. Fireball, Wing Blast. As always has been, I believe. Fire Flights and Fire Dragon Missile, as always. Incinerate. Breeze Fire, which I'll get. The only problem I'm going to have here is I need to level these up. 
And the problem I'm having is, as you see, there's not much to level up on. I picked a poor map for this. So I might actually have to make a cut until all my heroes are like level 10. It's going to take like three times longer to record this video than normal. I think I have nothing better to do, huh? Well, we'll do what we can. So I'll get a bunch of power points and stuff. But in order to reduce the video size, I will certainly uh, not do the whole thing on camera. Because I can grind them off, I just... It's going to take me a bit. But we'll have a look at everything before I do that, of course. Alright, so we can go for upgrading on that. Let's this. I still may have the bug where Goblin Warriors with heavy armor, their banner carrier may not have a texture. I have a fix for that, or for the HD edition problems. But I'm not sure if it includes that part. Because part of it's on 1.09 side, part of it's on HD edition side. I'm not sure which is fixed. I will have a fix for both, and of course everyone will when it is released. But as for this video, I'm not so sure. So we'll see, I suppose. That's leveling kind of nicely, I see. As long as they keep sending stuff out, it's not too bad. Let's get heal. Let's get that and that. So apparently you don't, you don't purchase Venom Sacks. As you see here. It comes with a level 2 place. It's just default. Already researched when you uh, get a level 2 thing. Which is definitely interesting. I really want to see Web Mongolians in action though. Fortunately, it's just up against a lot of tower guards. Right, let's go for an attack on the base. Get some power points there. Drogoth will continue ravaging whatever is over here. Getting experience that way works for me. I'm not picky. Also, we need to see the Fire Drake on the forts. Let's get some more uh, small things here as well. Oh, I got two things better things. It's not my intent. No! I'm actually being targeted by the port. Yeah, shit. Oh shit, I'm actually destroying more than I wanted to. Time to go. Oh, nice, we got spider riders. Well, let's pull them out. Pull everyone out. We overextended. Get you love back here. Great dance. Uh, let's get another tower like here, I guess. So they can't just walk in like they have been. Upgrades for events, poison sex sometime. I think if you give them banner carrier, then maybe they get poison sex automatically? We'll test that out. Like I said before, I haven't read the change log or anything from 1.09, so I don't actually know what everything does. Also, the Dragon's Nest heals Drogoth, reduces the revival time by 10%, allows for recruitment of fire drakes. So that's good. You get you got wood to chop, my friends. There you go. Off you go, you buggers. Let's have a look at the spider riders. They have a new, very cool model now. Look at that. That's the HD edition model, of course. They actually have armor and shit on, which is cool. They're not just naked goblins riding a, a spider. They have some goblin armor. And they can still switch to bows. Give them banners, which we will do so. A lot of things already have banners, thankfully. These don't. Let's see if my my guess is correct. As you'll see, a lot of randomization in 1.09. You have different trees, different colored trolls and giants, all kinds of stuff. I'm not sure what gives the spider the access to this. I mean, it's clearly not on because I don't see it. Unless I do see it and I'm not seeing it. Maybe this has to be level 3 to unlock that. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's get the fire drake. Some waypoints there as well. Oh god, no! <laughs> I didn't ask for this. 
Kill Bombadiddle. Alright, let's level up Drogoth a bit here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's the fire. Oh, that's destructive. Drogoth is still a savage. Because no. Luckily, a Shulop can tank. Set off. Is that Boromir? It is indeed. Alright, well that's upgraded. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what gives you the poison blaze, or if it's already on, or the poison sacks. I think it says in the chains log you get that, but I didn't accept <laughs> didn't read it. Lol. Alright, let's give them heavy armor, let's give them that. And we'll see if the texture bug is still a thing. If it is. Uh, rest assured, it'll be fixed soon. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, there's definitely the texture bug. I have the updated version of uh, HD edition, so I just need the updated version of 1.09, and that will be fixed, as well as any of the other problems that have been reported and haven't been noticed, which is basically all of them. Which is all of them, in fact. All the leadership icons for the elves, the build and builder, all that will be fixed. Very, very soon, in fact. I'm just impatient and had to record this video before it was released. But it, I assure you, it will be fixed and it will be flawless. HD Edition will work perfectly with 1.09 and it'll be great. And there's heal. Ooh, nice particle effect as well. For shiny. Alright, let's go for attack on them. Shield's only level 3, man. It's taking for ages to level. Let me do this. Let's go over here. I can do wing blast quickly. Does it hit my own units? It does indeed. Let's not do that. <laughs> Ooh. Hi, they're taking our real lane. Okay, let's go for. Well, I mean, we've seen Watcher, we've seen Worm. Let's go for Darkness. We don't have to see every power, we just have to see the bulk of the new ones. That's the point of this. Holy shit. A Drake comes out of the fort at level two, level 10. We got a black Drake, which is pretty cool. As you see, there's another thing that has a variation to it. Let's see if this power is still OP as shit. Seems a little more reasonable, thankfully. It did set fire to their archer range, though. Unfortunately for them. Oh boy, this is going to take a while, isn't it? <laughs> she still hasn't leveled. Oh no. Alright, maybe we just use the hero squad and then we'll get all the experience. But yes. We can uh, finish upgrading our army here. Get those forge blades. Fire arrows, etc. Let's see what everything else looks like. Just ignore the pink part, that'll be fixed soon, like I said. But we can see everything else in full HD glory. At least as well as we can in the darkness that I just casted. And the scavenger armor should make them goldish. Indeed, it does. Very nice. It's more of a bronze for the evil teams, of course, than a gold. And there's the goblin warriors, the upgrades. They got the red blades, which is pretty cool. And of course the spiderling just as a, a spiderling. Except the spiderling banner carrier has a uh, nice little poison venom sack thing. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna put everyone back. I'm just gonna use heroes from now on. I think. So that's my plan. I might make a cut as well here, I think. Because I'm at the point where, really, I just have to grind up my hero's levels, and it's going to take a while. At the rate they're sending stuff. Are they? Hey, look at that. There's that post on this map. Interesting. Actually, Drogath can go over here and level up in these spider layers. So that's something I can do. Yeah, I'll cut right here. 
and then I will return when we have ourselves a level 10 Drogoth, level 10 Gorkil, and a level 10 Shelob. And we should have 25 powers by then as well. So yeah, see you in a second. Alright, level 10 has been achieved on all heroes. Took a while. <laughs> Took more than a while. So we're going to check out everything. I haven't actually used any of the 10 power points yet. Not even once, so we'll get to experience together. First of all, we'll try Summon Dragon. Ooh. It does the smog laugh. And then, as you see, it comes with a nice varied texture. Oh, it has polka dots, because why not? And of course, Dragon's strong, and you can reposition Dragon to an untrodden location, like always. Nothing too new about Dragon. We've already seen Balrog, so I'm not too bothered about that, of course. And Aomer does dog shit to Balrog, in case you were curious. Or Dragon, rather. Alright, so let's see what else we got here. You can just... I don't want to go attack their base because we're too much damage. Kill these. You at least enjoy him a little bit. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. Gore kills. We all know what Gore kills is. Summon three fire drakes under caster's control. So let's see it in 109. Shall we? Also, while we're at it, we can get a... We did Worm in a different video. We did Watcher in a different video, I believe. I don't think we've done Wildman. We probably did, actually. Spiderlings we wouldn't have, because spiderlings only come from this. Let's see what spiderlings look like in a minute here. So there's three fire drake summons. They all come with Inferno, of course. It's pretty strong. Nice. And of course they're very powerful. Especially when you have three. Not bad. And the recharge timer on it is fairly uh, quick, actually. Alright, Gorkill, your turn's up. Let's see Incinerate. It might be the same old Incinerate, it might be a new one, I have no idea. It's got a big old radius, though, I can tell you that much. Let's do it in darkness as well. Alright, do it. So there's Drogast Incinerate. I believe it does have a new particle effect that looks more... I almost said more better until I realized that sounds like dumb as fuck. It looks better. <laughs> so that's good. Very good power indeed. Alright. Now the one I'm really curious about. The Web of Mongolians. Because it's new. Some people might say changing powers up like this is modding. And to a good degree, you're right, of course. But I don't feel like it's that big of a deal, really. Because, I mean, 2.02's done it. Then again, some people might call 2.02 a mod, so who knows. I think community patches are free to do what they want. As long as it's not too extreme. I feel like Shelob needed something, and I think they, they did something interesting, so that's fair enough. So, uh, how do you do this? I don't actually know. Okay. Try that. Oh, it's Spray's Web. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. So she sprays an area effect with web, and then it cripples enemy units and webs and heals her. That's neat. Although, I think she's fucked. <laughs> oh yeah, we got heal. Goblin heal for the win! That's definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. Evil teams having heals. Very weird. At least it's not a 5 power, it's a 10 power point, so at least it's, they did that to balance it a bit. Which is fair. Alright, so I think that's everything we need to look at, other than summoning the lings. So there's the spider lane. Looks HG. Looks like a spiderling. Good enough for me. Alright, now I think we're at the point where we just need to kill the enemy. By swarming over them, eh? Sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Yeah, pretty, uh... 
pretty cool. I like everything that Goblins has to bring to the table. So we'll go crush them with that mercy. Ooh, we got a black giant. Awesome. I do like the variety in giants and trolls and stuff and dragons and all that. You have to say, the variety is the spice of life. I don't know who the fuck said that, but you know. There's gotta be some degree of truth in there somewhere. I agree with that as well, though. Let's make this builder die. Fireball does not kill a builder. Fascinating. I think Drogoth is a bit screwed. Slay the Dragon Lord! That might be a new boss battle. I don't recall that one. Uh, fucking Bombadil, man. Bombadil, more like. Fuck out of here. Alright, let's get this. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so out of those rocks, my precious. Is my tail in. Get disappeared. I think I'm getting a buff, but you can't see the tiny land with the faction floor there. Interesting. Or they overrode it, but no, I'm getting a buff. Plus four kills there. Alright, just for the sake of doing it, let's summon the wildman. There is the HD wildman. And there you go. Cool. So that is everything Goblins has in its roster. And that's 1.09 for you. And that is it. But of course, like I said in the beginning of this video, I will be showing off Galadriel. So I'm going to go do that. You'll see it in one second. So give me a second. All right. As promised, I've got Galadriel. So this is Galadriel in patch 1.09. She's lost her ghostly look and she's gone for more of the... Uh, the Lady of Light look, which I think is pretty cool. And she's got a lot of powers. We'll check out real quick here. But first of all, since I didn't show off the in unit for uh, the elves, they get peasants, in case you were curious. I didn't show off a lot of the in units, so uh, there's that. Also, I could show off. Here's the icons that the elves are supposed to have. I do have the fixed version of the HD edition, and it has actually fixed these icons, so that's good. So those are the icons you'll have for leadership, of course. And to that one person who said, uh, Thrandall can move around and shoot, that is not the case. When you press mount, he, st he pulls out his sword. So he's not horribly OP, and he's much more effective on his, on his, uh, on his foot, I assure you. <laughs> but it's still cool that it exists, though, I guess. And he pulls his bow back out. Also, I didn't really get to look at Glorfindel that well, so we'll have a real close look at Glorfindel. Clefno looks pretty badass in the HD edition. He looks much more, uh, much more like a beast, like you'd expect him. And there's Blade of Purity. He's pretty cool. Alright, and where's the peasants? I have peasants over there. Peasants don't have any abilities, but that is the Rohan peasants. They also come with a Dalian, uh, a Dalian commander for some reason. Apparently, I have no, <laughs> I have nothing for that one. Alright, well, let's have a look at Galadriel, because that's why we're really here. We'll see how OP Galadriel is. Sauron's OP as shit. Let's see how Galadriel does. In a full scale evasion. I'm on a, I guess, a medium dwarf. So, shouldn't be too difficult. She doesn't seem as fast as she used to be. I do much prefer her in this form over the ghostly form. Although, maybe she does that when she has terrible fury or something. That'd be cool. I doubt it, because that sounds like a lot of what work. First of all, let's see your basic attack. And of course, you, if you don't care about Galadriel and you just want to see the goblins, by all means, you can stop watching now, but holy shit. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Well, she's got a savage melee attack, so that's good. Let's get vision on the base of the enemy. Oh yeah, I was going to show off, like... Let's see, Haldir has his leadership icon as well as Arwen. Arwen has leadership. And here's Arwen's Flood. We didn't actually look at Arwen very much either, now that I remember. There's HD Edition Arwen. Show her off very quickly. Here's Arwen on her horse. 
And here's her blood. So I don't think we use that in the video either. Although I don't know if it's different. Might be. Alright, Galadriel! That does have a nice new particle effect. Does he hit? She hit heroes away? Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Seems insane. Okay, summons a destructive tornado on the battlefield. Don't have to ask me twice. And of course, you can move around the tornado. As always. Uh, we got summon eagle allies. Summons three eagles to your aid. So that's pretty neat. And what else we got here? Call down the light of Valar onto your enemies. Oh, Jesus. I actually would like some enemies to uh, call the light of Valar out down to. So, uh, hold on. Also, just because I can't. Oh, I can't. <laughs> it's cause, just because I can't. It's called flooding up. I forgot to get some eagles. Or we could do cloud break. Apparently, I didn't purchase it. Come on now. I don't want to make this video too long. This is on the end of a goblin video, after all. Gloin is not enough. They at least need one battalion. Oh, yeah. That's not helping things, is it? As you see, the terrible fury tornado lasts decent size. I think the length of time. Alright, fuck it. This'll do. At last, the ring's power is revealed. Whoa. I mean if I had some enemies to actually kill with it, it'd probably be better. <laughs> that's fucking cool. Look at that. Well that's interesting. It'd be interesting to see how good it actually is against enemies. She has a heal, heals all allied heroes. A large circle for Angel Adriel. Are we wow. Well. Interesting. I like to rework Galadriel a lot, actually. She's got some cool shit. Alright. We're gonna uh, ravage the base until we get Light of the Valars again. Because I want to see it against some enemies. Would you just go away, Cab? Jesus Christ. Oh, they're an aggressive thing, it's no wonder. Okay, fine. Decommission your ass then. Jesus Christ. I don't know what they're doing. Why are they still here? Get away! But yeah, I gotta say, uh, I'm a fan of Fat Lady Galadriel. I still like Sauron better, of course. But she's definitely up to snuff. I was expecting her to be, like, really inferior to Sauron, because. I think she was last patch. 1.08. It's like how do you how do you make her equally cool? I think that's pretty cool. I still like Sauron's word of power better than the light of the Valar or whatever. But it's definitely up there in coolness. Alright, this might take a second for actually uh <laughs> for it to recharge. So I'm gonna cut right here until it's done recharging. And then we'll kill them. Alright, are we ready for one last hurrah? Because I certainly am. Also, in case you're wondering, Aron's ability does heal Galadriel, but heal does not. So that's good to know. Right, let's try it out. Hopefully they have something. I just killed a bunch of shit, so they might not. Also, just out of curiosity. So that's the problem I see with floors. Is it stays there even after you cast something? You can't tell if you have a buff on the ground or not. So I can see turning that off being a uh, a thing in competitive multiplayer. But I like it. I like it anyway. We just need some guys to kill, and then we'll be good to go. We have glowing, some archers, something would be good. Anything? Come on, dwarfs. Oh, we can see whose tornado is bigger, at least. I think we both know the answer to that question. Actually, Elrond's tornado is not this small anymore. But here's something that runs out faster. He's in trouble. Fortunately, heal works on him. Alright, get out of there. There we go, some units. 
Don't hit. Call it down. Killed the wrong guys. Oh, wow. Now that it actually is hitting things. There you go. That is a look at Galadriel. Now let's kick the shit out of this guy. No! Ah! <laughs> Glowing! You stole the ring! Oh shit, they got Gimli out as well. We got like a million eagles. Bring down these fortress. There we go. And you notice Arwen doesn't actually have a uh, Ethelus in this as well. I noticed that. Which is interesting. I think she didn't. She, did she have a for me too? I don't know. But either way, it was taken away and given leadership, so that's definitely different. I think that's a patch 1.08 change as well, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be heaven though. But yeah, that was pretty epic. I'm glad we get to have a look at that properly. Because my first look at the elves didn't go so well. <laughs> Alright. Wait, let's finish this off in style. Oh yeah, there it is. The new flood. I love it. Awesome. Well, there you go. That is a look at Galadriel real quick. And the goblins is in faction. So, very cool. And that is the last of the little overview skirmishes I'm doing of patch 1.09. So from now on, I will be doing a few casts here and there of 1.09. And I might be playing it as well some times. So we'll see. That's my plan at least. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And I will be playing the campaign on patch 1.09 and the HD edition as well for Beef Me Too. So I'm looking forward to doing that also. Keep an eye out for that. But until then, we'll see you guys next time.